What's going on you guys? This is Ryan back again with another video and today is Market Monday. Even though it is Tuesday, I had this video recorded yesterday but now I have to redo it because there is some new stuff in the game which I'm actually glad I waited for an extra day to do it. Uh, even though it is Market Monday, it doesn't actually have to be uploaded on Monday. Uh, it will be uploaded on Monday all the time but just because there's a bunch of stuff going on yesterday and I was obsessed with trying to get this DeMarcus Ware on PS3, if anyone has this card on PS3, let me know, because I have been looking for 48 hours for it, and no one puts it up on the on the auction block, and I just cannot find it at all. So, it is Elite, Right and Cowboys, Demarcus Ware, Zone D, and Mandy. Plus 9 to Zone Defense, plus 9 to Man Defense. So, if anyone has that, well, let me know. I will make a deal with you on PS3. Go ahead and leave your PSN below if you have it. And we'll make a uh, we'll make out okay we'll we'll work out a deal. So um, I mean if you want to do that we can. I'm just I'm just joking. But uh, new things in the game as we always do on Market Monday. Let's go check it out. Uh, zone I don't know why I said zone. But uh, off season movers, free agent signings. We have some new ones coming into the game this week. Um, take on a team led by uh, Dequell Jackson, Rashad Jennings, Lamar Houston, Brandon Browner, Jared Valdir, and Darrell Revis. So there's two. Patriots players there that we're about to get today, that is, or not today, this weekend, that's Darrell Revis and Brandon Browner, so definitely be on the lookout for those guys when they come out. You should check out their Twitter, find out when they come out um, at uh, EA Sports underscore Mutt, and then if you want to go ahead and check out the website, I'll have the link below. Um, if people don't know about this website, it's actually really cool. You can check out all the new cards that come out before they actually are on the auction block and in packs and stuff like that. You can also search up cards. See how much they sold for and see who who listed them and stuff like that. So if you want to see yourself on the website selling a card um, and see if you sold it for a good price, you can check that out as well. So um, I'll leave that in the description below. Uh, anyways, what's new with Market Monday? What are some good ways to make coins? Well, if you guys haven't noticed, I already uploaded this video about it. Um, positional collections have been released into the game and here they are. As you see, you got the quarterbacks, the halfbacks, all the way through all the way through to the very end until safety so um why all right why am i telling you that for market monday well there's a really good reason for that so if i go in my reserves right now and you see my fantasy cards why do i have so many fantasy cards well these cards right here are going to make you a lot of money most of these cards if not all of these cards are in positional collections so what does that mean people want to find these cards not a lot of people um save their fantasy cards from what i've seen uh, there is some still some rare cards in the game at fantasy at the fantasy uh, tier, I should say. Uh, Kiko Alonso, I sold this for like 45k the day that positional collections came out. Uh, someone was really thirsty to do that middle linebacker collection, so just check it out. Check out what um, cards you may have in your reserves for fantasy. Go ahead and check that out on the auction block and see what they're going for, and you may be you may be making yourself a pretty decent profit. So check this out, guys. I'll just show you a random card. I have this Greg Hardy here, which is left end. It actually goes in the right end collection, but um, it's, it's, some cards will be like that. Some cards you have uh, like halfbacks and the quarterback or something like that, and it's, it's weird like that, but it's only a couple collections that do that. Um, let's go ahead and check out that Greg Hardy and see what he may be going for, just to give you an idea of what some of these could be going for. So Greg Hardy, unfortunately, is only 2K, but you can see that these actually look like pretty decent buys at 2K. A piece and then it goes to 9 10 11 and 15 so you should be doing this as I am doing well I can't buy them but um actually too many active space uh, buying these two and then putting them up for eight a piece will actually garner yourself a profit so you should be doing this guys um, flip the cards that you see in the positional collections uh, if you have a card in your reserves like the Greg Hardy and you search it up and this happens you know you can make a profit because someone is gonna be searching um, almost I would almost guess they will be searching every 10 to 15 minutes because of how many people play this game. So I think every 10 to 15 minutes someone will be searching up Greg Hardy because there's so many people in the world playing Madden and there's so many people in the world probably trying to do this collection right now that need this Greg Hardy. So that has been my way of making coins the past couple of days. Um, also trying to complete the positional collections. So that is definitely a way to make coins. Sell your reserves, sell the highly sought after cards in the positional collections. Um, hopefully I'm explaining this clearly because I kind of I kind of feel as if I'm not explaining it the way I should be. But um, if you guys understand what I mean, then you could definitely be making a lot of coins. 
Uh, here's some new weekly collections that just released into the game. We have NFC East halfbacks, AFC West cornerbacks. So, of course, people that love to do collections want to get these done because they feel as if uh, the more collections they have done, the better. And you could probably sell these for a decent bit of coins. I saw one Julio Brown up for like 8K earlier. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not doing this collection. Even Derek Cox was up for like 5K. So even though these collections aren't very good, you can definitely make a profit selling these cards. I will tell you this every week just so you guys can remember that these collections aren't just here for a stupid reward pack. These collections are here to make money. So sell these cards in here. People want to do these collections. People will buy these cards for like 4K a piece just to do the collection. Even though in your head you're saying, no, Ryan, I will not buy these cards for 4K. That's stupid. There are people that will do it. There really are people that are going to do that myself even i was one card away of doing i think it was like afc south fullbacks and the only card i needed was quinn johnson and i'm like oh my god i just want to get it done with because i'm so close to doing it and i just want to see what's in the reward pack there's a quinn johnson up for 6k i bought it i don't know why i bought it i just did and that what that's what made me think wow there are people that will buy these cards but anyways guys check it out there is a new set of chemistry collections that are in the game now as i always say these are very very good collections as you see, I've already done the pass rush. You know what I pulled out of this? I pulled a Jimmy Graham tight end card, an elite Jimmy Graham tight end card. 96 overall, I think it was, 97. And I pretty much crapped my pants. So do these collections, do, the, do these collections or sell these cards because everybody is gonna want these. I say this every week as well. You're gonna make a lot of coins selling these and that's just pretty much it. Um, with that, you can definitely get some decent pulls if you're lucky. Um, let's go ahead and go through a couple more things before we end the video. Um, first and foremost, let's go ahead and say that uh, since Josh has already shown you the way of sniping the good cards uh, for the collections, it only is going to get better now, guys. There is ways to make a ton of money by sniping the cards that are in positional collections. First and foremost, I'll just show you, if you can ever snipe this card on the auction block you're gonna make a ton of money the defensive tackle positional collection has an indomitian sue in it that is zone defense that will give you just a crazy profit or profit um as you see here indomitian sue pass rush and run stuff is up for 83k um while he probably is in the collection as well i think he is there's another card in there which is zone defense and the zone defense one usually sells for around 400 500k someone may see this up for 83k and say okay i pulled in dominican sue i'll throw him up for 80k and make it the cheapest well guess what he just threw up a 400k card for 80k that is an instant buyout immediately buying out that card just immediately you will make a massive profit or you can go ahead and do the collection and get yourself this card which currently goes for 1.1 million so you make the decision which one you'd rather do um i'm not going to tell you every single card that you can snipe but if you go through the positional collections and you find the right chemistries, you'll see which ones are the rare. So um, not only that, not only sniping the cards that are going into the collection, but sniping the cards that are actually the collection rewards uh, could, you know, make you a lot of money. Um, I've seen some people snipe some of the positional collection cards already. I saw someone get, I think, Brian Dawkins for 666 coins. So every now and then when you're bored, if you're just sitting there maybe watching something on the computer and you're just playing Madden, you want to mess around search the positional reward cards because you could find someone that puts it up for very cheap now it may not even be super cheap like uh, you see here this is 950k that's not really a good buy at all but if you see one go up for maybe like 400k and you see the cheapest is 950 you may be able to flip that i've seen someone buy one i see someone buy a brian dawkins for 300k and resell it for 850 that's a massive profit so even if you think it's still a lot of coins and you may not even have 300k but for the people that do have like the 300k 400k range of, co of coins um definitely look for these cards and you can flip them very easily i've seen people do it it happens it's not uh, a super rare occurrence it does happen pretty often that someone throws these cards up for a decent price that you could flip and it's not even always going to be like 300k to like 800k it could be something like oh i threw the card up for 450 and it's going for 800k or or maybe even 700k even though that's a smaller profit it's still a pretty big profit 
So definitely be on the lookout for that. Now for people that are like not the people that could buy those cards for 300k, for the people that don't have a lot of coins, maybe the people that have around maybe like 100k, 50k, they're probably thinking right now like what can I do? What can I do, Ryan? I don't have a lot of coins. How do I make coins? Well, like I said before, for you guys, selling your reserves are probably the best bet. You probably have a decent amount of reserves and you just don't even touch it. You probably have a couple gold cards in your reserves that you may think don't go for anything. Well, look at my reserves right here. We have a Tony Romo, a Stevie Johnson, a Ryan Kerrigan. If I wasn't so lazy, I could be selling these cards and making a profit. There is a, probably about 100k worth of gold cards in my reserves, but I just don't ever sell them because I don't really feel as if I want to take the time out of my day to do it. If you guys desperately want coins, your reserves have a lot of coins in them. You just don't realize it. It takes a while to do it, but believe me, once you start getting into the habit of selling everything in your reserves that have even the slightest bit of value, some of these cards in here may be going for 2k, 3k a piece, but once you add that up as time goes on, that 3k will turn into 30k, will turn into 60k, and will eventually hit you over 100k. So definitely look at your reserves often and sell everything that you can see. You don't need to save anything. Everything's already out in the game that's coming out that's really expensive probably. We may be getting a couple more promos here and there, but for the most part, positional collections are going to make you the most money, and that's what you need to be focusing on right now. So, um, look at this Luis Vasquez. This is actually supposed to be rare, apparently, um, but I haven't seen that. I guess it's for the Peyton Manning MVP collection, the Broncos collection, and uh, they released it back in the game. So, um, I kind of freaked out when I saw this the other day. I was just like, holy shit, where'd that come from? But, uh, yeah. Anyways, guys, like I said, sell your reserves. You're going to make a lot of money, especially the ones that are in the uh, chemistry collections. Like Anthony Spencer will be in the zone defense collection. That'll be going for a decent bit and stuff like that. So always make sure which cards are in the collections, which cards you think are going to be rare, and search them up on the market. So that's pretty much it for Market Monday. Um, I'm going to try to get these up every single Monday so you guys actually have a schedule of when it's going to come out if you want to make coins. Uh, I just there's something that went on yesterday like I said I was trying to find that DeMarcus where it's pissing me off I couldn't find one and I just didn't really get the time to record it and just I guess that's what happened so uh, definitely uh, be on the lookout for these every Monday hopefully I've helped you make some coins and like I said if anybody has this card that's watching on PS3 let me know because I will buy it off you immediately if you have it I've been looking for this card for so long it's really pissing me off that I can't find it. It's elite right end, DeMarcus Ware, 96 overall, zone defense, and man defense. That's pretty much it, guys. Hopefully this video has helped you, and I'm out of here. Peace. Uh, this pack here, we start off with a William Gay, and we get an Andy Dalton, a Keenan Lewis playoff, Mike Webster, Namde Collectible, Golden Tate, Dave Casper, and a Deshaun Jackson. Let's go. I was really hoping to get a Madden 25 team card. I wasn't expecting to get one that was from before, but... I'll definitely take that. It's not a J.J. Watt. It's not a Calvin. It's not a Michael Vick. But hey, it's Deshaun Jackson. And he goes for a decent amount of coins. So I'm very happy about that.